Okay, today we're going to cover the last property of uh, division with exponents, and um, we're also going to review the first two properties that we covered last time. So to kind of do a review, um, this first one that we did last night, we, we said that whenever you have a um, the same bases and division, um, we can simplify that by subtracting the exponents. So we get 3 to the 8th, divided by 3 to the second, since the bases are the same, and we're using division, it's 3 to the 8 minus 2 power, which simplifies down to 3 to the 6. Um, using variables, this one we're going to have to uh, first use our multiplication properties and distribute that out, so we get a to the 5th over b to the ninth, all of that over a to the 4th, b to the 4th, and now we can simplify each one individually a to the 5th is a to the 5 minus 4. And then b to the 9th over b to the 4th would be b to the 9 minus 4. Simplify those down to get a to the 1st, or just a. And then 9 minus 4 is 5, so b to the 5th. Another example we did was when you have um, division, but um, that fraction, that entire fraction is being raised to a power. And what we did is we, we, I taught you that the exponent then distributes to both the top and the bottom. So we end up with 2 to the 3rd to the 2nd power over 3 to the 2nd, whoops, to the 2nd power. Now we have a power of a power, so we end up multiplying these to get 2 to the 6th over 3 to the 4. Okay. Um, in our last example, this time now we're going to have the 3, and we got to remember that it goes ends up going to everything. Okay. So you end up getting a to the 3rd to the 3rd, b to the 3rd over a to the 2nd to the 3rd, b to the 2nd. We use our power of power property to be able to get multiply those. You get a to the ninth, b to the third over a to the sixth. I guess two times three is six. B to the sixth, because again, two times three is six. And now we can use what we learned over here to simplify each one of these. We get a to the nine minus six b to the 3 minus 6. We get a to the 3rd, b to the negative 3rd. Oops. Yeah, a to the 3rd, b to the negative 3rd. And then we learn with negatives that we can move this down to make it positive, so we end up getting a to the 3rd over b to the 3rd. That's what we learned yesterday. Now we're going to take that and go one step further and learn today. Today's is a negative power of a quotient property. What happens when you have um, a division or a quotient or, or, or a fraction being raised to a negative power? Well, there's this really cool property that tells us all we have to do is flip this, and the power then would become positive. And then at that point, we would distribute it to both. So as you can see, when we had two-thirds to the negative fourth power, we flipped this to get three halves and changed the negative four to a positive four. And then we distributed it to get three to the fourth over two to the fourth. We can now take that new knowledge and apply it to here. We have two fifths to the negative third power. Well, if we flip it so that it becomes five halves, it is then, instead of being to the negative third power, we're now taking it to the positive third. So really, ultimately, what you're doing is, remember, whenever you see a negative exponent, we're trying to fix it. We consider that broken. The way we can fix a fraction to a negative exponent is by simply flipping the fraction, and then it becomes positive. Now we apply this to both, distribute it to both, and we get 5 to the third over 2 to the third. Look at another example. Again, we have a fraction to a negative power. So we flip the fraction, y to the second, 
3x, and then it becomes to the positive third power. So we now fixed that negative exponent. This then distributes to everything. Be careful, because it also distributes to that 3, and we're left with y to the second to the third power over 3 to the third, x to the third. y to the second to the third, this whole thing can be simplified down because it's a power of a power. Power of a power, you multiply, you get y to the second. 3 to the third is 27, and we're left with x to the third. Let's try a couple more examples. We've got a over b to the uh, negative second power. Again, this is broken because it's negative, so the way we fix a fraction being raised to a negative is by flipping the fraction, and then it makes that exponent positive. We can simplify this one further by distributing it to both the top and the bottom, and we're left with b to the second over a to the second. And then our last one, I'm going to start for you, and I'm going to let you try to finish, um, and we'll see how you do tomorrow. Um, again, we have a broken um, exponent here. We need to fix it. The way we fix a fraction to an exponent is by flipping it. And then we're going to have to distribute. But remember, it also goes to the 3. I will let you finish this dis distribution and simplifying, and we'll talk about it tomorrow. So I hope that helps you with our third and final um, division property um, of exponents. Good luck, and we'll talk to you tomorrow.